Welcome to Light and Pro Revolution Quick Start Video. I'm Barry Cameron, aka Valdemar B from Dreamlight. For a more detailed look at Light and Pro Revolution, please watch the longer presentation video. I'm gonna start off by loading Stormwings and Streets of Asia. Next, in the content library, I'm gonna locate Light and Pro Revolution, which is located in Destry Format, My Library, Dreamlight, LDPR. I'm going to right click on the load icon and select merge into scene. Having that loaded, I'm going to switch to the LDPR camera and I'm going to select my camera angle. I'm just going to select the camera and add a slight Z rotation to it. Having that done, I'm going to head to the sunlight camera and just simply point my sunlight while you're doing that you can use objects to cast shadows for instance i can use this building here to cast shadow on the walkway so that it's partially obstructed by shadow having that done i'm going to select the higher resolution and simply select the camera now before rendering, I'm going to just remove the Skydome that is supplied with Stormation Streets of Asia. I'm going to expand that item in the Scene tab, locate the Skydome and simply remove it from the scene. That will let the Lightdome Pro backdrop shine through. And with that said, we're ready to make our render. Go to Render, Render LDPR, which render the necessary layers. Now the whole idea and concept of Light on Pro Revolution is to get you out of Data Studio as quickly as possible into Photoshop where you will access all the layers produced by the plugin, enable you to do live adjustments. And that's it. When this finishes, we are done in the studio. We can head into Photoshop and do the final tweaks. You need to have your actions and layers palettes open. If you don't, you can find them here. The next step is simply go to File and Open. Locate your Studio folder, My Library, Dreamlight, Light on Pro Revolution and Output. This is best viewed as detailed, where you can see the date of creation. You can sort by date and see the last date and image done here. And these are categorized in the quality settings you used. So I'm go ahead and open up the last one. Click on the first one. Hold shift. Select the last one. Click on open. In the actions palette, select Light on Pro R. Combine. Click on play. This combines all the layers into the full final image. And this is really the heart of Light on Pro Revolution. This is where you design your image. You can play with the fog, uh, play with opacity for each of the layers, and even duplicate them if you want more, if you want more of a certain effect. Of course, you can also play with brightness and contrast and really crank up layers. Uh, so that they provide more or less effect in your scene. Remove that. You've got the sun layer, which actually is two layers. Uh, depends on how strong you want the sunlight to be. Next, you've got the sun bounce, which is something unique to the Light on Pro series of products. They give you sunlight bouncing and you can adjust how much you want. Then you have the skylighting. You can adjust how much of that you want. You can also duplicate it for even more lighting overall. Let me move down. And in similar fashion you have the sky bounce. That is simply the skylighting bouncing off. And it doesn't bounce off in darker areas. So you've got a tunnel, it won't bounce off as much as it does in open places where the skylighting hits, ground bounces off. Then you've got the ambient, which is overall lighting. You can simply adjust 
how bright or dark you want the image to be. Especially useful for places where the skylighting doesn't hit the ground. And you've got the background, which is the sky. You can either tone it down or duplicate it for even more effects in your scene. When you're done with this, you simply save it as a mix. Just go ahead and use the PSD format, save it. It's going to save in the correct folder. And next, you're simply done for applying a filter. And it's really about taste. The fault will not alter the color scale. Uh, Miami will have more orangish color scale and cold more bluish. I'm going to choose Miami, click on play. That will mix the layers into step two, where you can continue and play with a gamma, or actually a fade gamma effect. You can just you know adjust this to your taste. And you also have two glow layers uh, with fire sizes. This is a smaller glow layer. It doesn't have a large radius. And you got a larger glow layer that glows more heavily. You can adjust both of them to your taste. And then you got the tint, the extra tint. You can go ahead and play with that as well. And you've got this frame that kind of surrounds your image. You can either remove it or play with it and see whatever works with your image. And you can, all, of course, save this as mix2 and flatten the image and you're done. This is your final image. You have a more in-depth overview of Lightroom Pro 8's functions in the longer video. This is Valkyrie from Gilmite and I'll see you next time.